Hello everybody, welcome. Now, thank you every, everyone. Thank you very, very, I get my words out. Thank you. Thousand subscribers, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Four weeks ago, we had like 80, I think, or something. Thousand subscribers in four weeks. Well, like 900 in four weeks. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for every single one of you. Now, today I'm going to do Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire Puddings against Aldi's Aunt Bessie Yorkshire Puddings. Well, I think they're, I think they're the crust is Aldi's Aunt Bessie's. Because you say it's just like Grandma. So, I presume they're the same. I don't know. But I'm also going to do Aldi's own brand, they're essential ones. The Tesco's Hearty, they were both 50 pence, so they're the same price. The Aunt Bessie's, they were £1.65 for 10, and they were Aldi's 65p. For 12. So it'd be nice to test this one to see if that is worth a pound more than that. So let's open them up and have a look. Right, well, I was just setting the camera up to show you these. Do you think I should make my own as well to compare my own against them? I think I should, shouldn't I? So let me get all the condiments together. Right, first things I want to do, say I use lard, I do when I do my Yorkshire puddings. You can use oil. I just use lard, I find it gives it a nicer taste. I'm going to get a spoonful of oil, lard in each one, first. Because you want to get this boiling hot. Well, I've got the lard in, I'm going to get that in the oven. Because I want to get that boiling up before I do anything else. So I'm going to stick it in. Right, now I've got a mixing bowl. Now I've got plain flour. Now what it does, now what I do with the flour, I mean I don't know if you've ever made them before and you weigh it out, I don't weigh them out, I don't. I've got my cup, this is my flour cup from my Yorkshire's, this is. It's only a small cup. I don't sieve it or nothing. I don't bother. I'm not a gourmet chef. Just like to get it done. Now I've found, with your flour, get it in the bowl, as long as you add exactly the same amount of milk, is what you've had in flour, you'll be fine. So I'm going to get a same amount of milk. There we go. And I've also got myself three eggs. Right, people, some people use four, some people use two. You know, everyone's different, everyone's to their own. So I'll give that a shake. So I'll never sieve mine, I'll never ever do. I'm going to get my whisk together. Well, I've got my whisk, that's all done. I'm going to get my eggs in. Say some people mix the eggs and the milk together. I don't, I always mix the eggs first. Just the way I've always done it. I say there's a lot of different ways to make them. But this is my way. I'll give this a quick mix first. And then I add milk a bit at a time. And just keep whisking till it's smooth. So that's about done now. Now what I do, I'll just put it in a thing in a jug because it's easy to pour. And there's the batter look looks lovely. Now what I usually do is leave that to uh, sit room temperature for 20, 25 minutes while the fat's warming up. So once all that's done, sat and the fat's warmed up, I'll bring you back. Right. I've salt and peppered it. I'm just going to get the fry out of the oven now. There it is. And pour away. So this mixture does 12. Should leave it cook straight away like that. Get it straight back in the oven. Do not open the door. Right then, Yorkshire's got about five minutes to go. So what I'm going to do is your Aunt Bessie's first. Say £1.65, I think I said there was. There's all watching my jigs. You can see that. Get a pause. Do 
Cook for five minutes. Uh, 190 grams in a pack. Say one pack. Let's open these up first. There's the Aunt Bessies. So they're quite big, ain't they, then? Let's put that one there. Now we'll compare it with the, the Aldi Aunt Bessie. I presume it's Aldi Aunt Bessie, because it's just like Grandma, so I presume it is. Well, these were 65p, I think I said. I mean, it's just so state of affairs, that one is, isn't it, to be fair. Look at that. Got a difference, look. But that one's there. There's the watching me jigs on the Audi one. You want to see them? All the stuff. I don't know if there's anything else on there. Yorkshire puddings. Crispy Yorkshire puddings. Made for a perfect roast. I look a bit sorry for the sales, to be honest with you. Now we'll do the... Uh, the hearty. There's the stuff on there. What gram is in that? It's 230 gram in that one. What was in the Audi one? That was 190 in the Aunt Bessie, weren't it? 230 as well. These, these ones are 50 pence. What the hell is that? That's rock hard, look at that. Got a better one than that, oh my god. Look at that one. And they're not going to rise much, these. I mean, that's 50p, that's. But look at that. It's rock hard. I'm not cooking that one. Now the Aldi Everyday Essentials. There's all the stuff. If you can pause it and do what you do. And that's 230 grams, so it's only the Aunt Bessie, that's 190 I think it was. And there's the Everyday Essentials, 50p. I mean, it's better than that 50p one. That's 65 I think I said. So that much difference in that. Obviously the Aunt Bessie one is way bigger. So let's keep them in order. Aunt Bessie, uh, Aldi's Aunt Bessie, Tesco's Arty Foods, and Aldi Original. I'll keep them that way so I know what they are. Right, mine are done. I've put the other ones in, they take four or five minutes. Here's mine. That's what you call a Yorkshire pudding. Look at them beauties. Look at them beauties, look. Absolute stunners. Let's get them out. They're boiling out. It's just a second come out, so. It's only quick to these Yorkshires. Don't open your door. Yes. What do you think? Gorgeous, isn't they? Look. Right, I'll bring you back when the other ones are done. A couple of minutes. Right, they're done. There's the Aunt Bessie's. Pathetic compared to mine. There's the uh, Aldi Aunt Bessie's. Pathetic. There's the Tesco's hearty one. And there's the Aldi basic one. I mean, there's no comparison, is there? There's absolutely no comparison. Now, you remember with mine, oops, right, the, the flour, I bought the flour from Aldi, it was 50, I think it was 52p or 55p, and the eggs were 78, I think there was, and a drop of milk. So once you've bought the flour, you've only got to buy eggs, and you get a proper one. And if you don't know how to make them, you do now. So people make them different. Well, that's how I make mine. So let's taste test. Well, there you go. I mean, look at the difference. You can see the difference, can't you? But it's all in the taste. I mean, 
I think mine's going to win hands down. Let's try the LD basic one first. Put that down. It's got a crunch. Nothing to write home about that. I'll be told I'll have to have a drink between each one. So I'm having a drink. Which is probably right to be fair. Now I've got the Tesco. Hearty one. Look at that. Absolutely pathetic. That's 50p. The flowers that up, Aldi. You've only got to buy eggs. There's nothing to it, look. Wouldn't even waste my time. That's worse than the Aldi one. It's the Aldi Basics winning at the minute. Now I've got the Aldi. Uh, Aunt Bessie. Well, is it just like Grandma, whatever they call it? Rubbish. Rubbish. It's just the same as the Aldi Basic. So there's no difference there. So the Aldi Basic was what, 15p cheaper? So might as well have the Aldi Basic if you get in them. Now the Aunt Bessie. Which looks a little bit better to be fair. That's not bad. Don't forget it's £1.65p. Not bad. Now on to mine. Gorgeous. Oh yes. Oh yes, the fluffiness and everything in it. And you can taste the difference straight away. Gorgeous. That is mine. Stunning. Now the Aunt Bessie's was the best out of the rest of them. Uh, weren't better than mine, obviously mine's the winner there. But is the Aunt Bessie's worth £1.65p? Well I bought mine, what was it, flower? I think it was 50, 50p, 55p, something like that. It was only 50p, roughly. Uh, the eggs, 78p. And some milk. And if you've got milk in the fridge anyway, you've got the flour, you only need to buy eggs. So virtually the same price you buy your own. And you've always got loads of flour. I wouldn't waste money on any of them, to be fair. But there you go. But is that worth £1.60 more than them? It probably is, because them, them others are rubbish. Them others are absolutely rubbish. And if you don't know how to make them, you do now. As I say, I've just showed you. That's my way. There's loads of different ways to make them. That's a simple way there. As long as you put the flour, get the same amount of flour, same amount of milk. Three eggs, so you can have two eggs or four. I always use three. You're laughing. Don't open the door when you cook it. Leave it in for 20, 25 minutes and don't open the door. There you go. As I say, nice little one there. I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. See you later. Well, I think I'll stick to my own. I think I'll stick to my own. Because then, a pathetic. Bye-bye.